Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you how to create a free Microsoft Teams account. This is a pretty straightforward and quick process, so if you do find it useful, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to the desktop. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is actually navigate over to this URL. And um, what I'll do is I'll drop this down in the description below as well, so that you can easily navigate to it. And the first thing that you'll notice is there is two buttons here. Uh, one is a sign up for free and the other one is a sign in button. Um, obviously, there's loads of various things down here that just basically explain what Microsoft Teams is about and the different functionality that you can have with it. Um, but for what we want, we want to just click on the sign up for free button. So we're going to give that a click and that will open up a new screen. Um, and what we want to do is basically enter an email address to sign up with. So bear with me. And then click on next. This then tells you uh, several different things. Um, one is you can use it for school um, and that basically takes you to Microsoft 365 education. Um, for friends and family, which actually takes you to Skype, um, which I don't, this is not really what we're looking for. Um, and then for work and organizations. Um, so for my purpose here in making sure that we create an account for Microsoft Teams, we're going to click on work and organizations and click next. Um, it says I'm already signed in. So I'm going to sign in with a different account. Um, then enter a password and sign in and close that um, fine and then you're going to be presented with this option here where it's going to ask you for your first name your last name company name so forth um, so we're just going to quickly do that um, i'm going to just type office guy here um, but it's irrelevant really. Um, country and region, um, so I'm in the United Kingdom, um, so just select uh, your location there, and you have some general terms and conditions, and then you can just set up Teams. So I'm just going to click that, and it's going to create you a Microsoft Teams account um, and sign you in. And it's as simple as that. Um, let's just see what else it comes up with, if there's anything else you really need to know. Um, but it's a pretty straightforward process. Um, it's basically going to be setting up everything that's needed for Microsoft Teams to be functioning for you. Um, I also created a video on how to download Microsoft Teams. Um, I'm just going to cancel that. Um, but, and that, that is it mainly if um, you've already got an account and you just don't know how to download the desktop app. If, however, you're brand new and you go through this process, um, you'll be presented with this option. So you can download the app for your Windows and that will download it directly to your desktop um, or you can use the web instead. Now, I would probably suggest that you do download at this stage. Um, you can always easily get to the web version. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to find the, the download links um, for the application itself. Um, but because I've already got it installed, I'm going to just use the web instead. Okay, and now that's going to load up Microsoft Teams and sign me in. Um, and it is as simple as that, guys, um, in order to actually go through and um, create yourself a free Microsoft Teams account um, and start using it. Um, if you found this video useful, you know what to do, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.